So what are you drinking right now, Nacho? I'm drinking the Taste of the Caribbean. <laughs> Enjoying it. <laughs> Nacho, it was great to, to uh, uh, share a, a few messages on the way across, but we, we didn't get to feel it. Tell us what that was like. Oh, it was beautiful. This boat is fantastic. It's just, it's just great. And um, the conditions was the best I've ever had across the Atlantic. It was only last night we had some squalls, small ones, and today this cloud. Every night was uh, brilliant with um, plenty of stars, and it was fantastic. Wind always in between 16 and 22 knots, perfect, perfect conditions, couldn't be any better. Step for the start, obviously. The upwind was not that nice, and uh, going through the uh, through the ridge of uh, light pressure that I mentioned you before the start was not an easy one, but after that, it was really pleasant. And, and I'm sure people were watching the tracker. We had the, the ghost of Nomad's record in 2015. What, was, what did that do to the atmosphere on board? Well, it was kind of like... A, a, the, the main reason to um, to uh, to enter the race is that the owner wants to cruise in the Caribbean. So it, the the big uh, the big words from the boss was, "Please, guys, don't break my boat. If uh, if you do it, I will go in trouble with my wife. So <laughs> be very careful. So we have to be kind of careful and don't push too hard. So when we saw about the record and we had the first two days going upwind and then uh, through the light spot, and we saw that. Uh, Nomad was 240 miles ahead of us. We kind of forgot about it. It's not a, it's not a good year for that. But then slowly, slowly, we were cutting it down, cutting it down. And the last three days, it was every every half an hour, someone coming to the chat table. Do you have n news of the cost? The cost, as they call it. What is the cost? How, how much ahead? How much behind? And uh, that was an obsession for the last three days. And, and I know you come to Grenada a lot. You do a lot of cruising here and racing here, Grenada Sailing Week. Yeah, I'm coming back in uh, January for the Grenada Sailing Week. It's fantastic. I why, love it. Why is it? Why do you love it? Ah, it's the atmosphere of the island. The sailing is fantastic, but especially the people. The people in the island are super, super nice. So it's everybody should come to Grenada. It's great.